Time out. Welcome back to Time Out, where we have two teams headed to Memorial Stadium for the state football championship next week. Both of them happen to be preseason number one in the area. I'll take the credit for that call on that one. Although you wouldn't have been too hard pressed to think that Creighton in class D1 and Norfolk Catholic in class C2 were going to be among the top teams in their class. Let's start off with the Knights who kept marching by hitting half a hundred on probably the top class C2 defense in Sutton. Thanks to a record setting performance, Norfolk Catholic defeated Sutton 50 to 28. Dylan Couts is up to 43 rushing touchdowns on the season to break the Class C2 state record. Here's Couts after his big win. It means a lot. I gotta give a lot of credit to my own line because they're the reason that happens. They gotta go on every single game this year. For Norfolk Catholic, it will be the 17th time in school history that they are in the finals. They own a state record 10 championships and they are aiming to repeat for the fourth time in school history and they're also aiming for their fifth championship just this decade alone. But don't tell Coach Jeff Beller that success gets old. Here's what he had to say after the game. You've been there playing the state championship games, what you work all the time for. So I don't never want that to be a whole hum or anything at our school. Sure, we, we like doing that, but it's special for these kids. They're great kids. They work hard. They set this as a goal, and I think they'll go after it. Norfolk Catholic will face Centennial, who beat Oakland Craig in a battle of undefeated teams in the other Class C2 semifinal, 35-14. Turnovers led directly to 14 points for the Broncos, led by quarterback Wyatt Ehlers, who ran the ball 19 times for 153 yards and also completed 14 of 18 passes for another 118 yards. Top two teams in Class C2 at a state championship game, that sounds about right. Turning our attention over to Class D, Creighton has scored at least 66 points in every game in the playoffs that continued in the semifinals on Monday night against Exeter Milligan Friend, 72-26 in the semifinals. You just don't see a win like that this deep in the playoffs that often. Creighton is trying to exercise some big time demons though this year. They have made the playoffs now 20 times in school history, zero titles. Two runner-up finishes. They've lost in the quarterfinals in two years very recently, 2014, and again last year in the semifinals four times this decade. Their opponent very well could have been a district opponent. North Central had undefeated Burwell on the ropes big time, but the Knights are stopped on a two-point conversion with five minutes, 50 seconds left. Had a couple more chances after that, but they just didn't quite work out. 23-22 is your final. It was the best finish in co-op history for North Central. No area finalists in Class D2, and thing is though with Class D2, it came down to the top two seeds in the East Bracket. Number two seeded Johnson Brock knocked off number one seed Humphrey St. Francis 58-44 in a battle of undefeated teams. The Eagles scored 22 straight points after the Flyers tied it at 28 early in the third quarter. Flyers got back to within six, but Johnson Brock converted a fourth and 10 for a 20 yard touchdown pass. Cole Fossenbarger, 32 of 48 passing, 394 yards and five touchdowns. And temperature is more fit for running the ball 48 times. Trevor Pfeiffer had a big game also, 23 carries, 132 yards, three touchdowns on the ground. Also completed nine passes for 214 yards. Taylor Wemhoff, 23 carries, 123 yards and another two touchdowns. And just like that, we're headed to Lincoln for the state championships. Until next time, I'm Nick Benish and thanks for taking a timeout with us.